have in my hot little hands a moleskin journal. That's right. As far as hard found notebooks are concerned, moleskin is the best that money can buy. Today is December the 11th, and I have already written a few pages in here, and probably another day's worth I'll write in here. Then I'm going to give it to Crazy to Decor, and he's going to write a few pages in it. And then after he's finished, I'm going to, well, no, he'll be finished by the time this video comes up. But, he'll, he'll be finished and all that shit. I'm going to send this journal to a random YouTuber somewhere on YouTube. Well, it won't be random, really. It'll be a selection process. I'll get into that here in a minute. The idea is that person will write a few pages in this book, send it to somebody else, and they'll keep going like that. This is a neat little social experiment. It'll be a written record of our thoughts, whatever. When you get it, you can write anything you want in it. It could be journal entries, it can be random thoughts that you had throughout the day, it can be poems, it can be a short story, it can be, there's that fucking phone again, I'm not gonna fucking edit it this time. It can be a song, it can be fucking anything you want. Drawings, I don't give a shit. The idea is to just preserve a written record. Now when the book gets filled, and this is one of the rules that are outlined in the book, it'll have to be sent back to me so that I can read what's written down, and get another one, send them both back out. The idea is to have the written thoughts of hundreds of people, and to have it be an exclusive right to possess this book. Here's how we're going to get into this here. In order for me to select who gets it next, you will have to complete a challenge. It'll be a good one. As soon as I, there we are, not start any fires. I'm going to read a passage that I had written down in here today. I'm going to, I'm going to give it a start. I'm going to start it off for you. It's a, it's a phony journal entry. Saturday. Another dreary party at the Frost's flat tonight. Oh, but the bitches were in rare form. With that prompt, you are to complete a fictional journal entry. The most amusing one, as judged by myself and Crazy 2 Decor, will be awarded this illustrious book as well as a prize that I have yet to select. That person will then also have the duty to come up with their own challenge and issue it across YouTube and see who wins. You cannot write in the same book twice. Once you possess this book, you cannot possess it again until the second text comes out. And then you can try and win the second entry, too. Uh, there was something else I needed to say about this. Some little fucking important rule. Something. See, I'm not editing this one. That's kind of the important thing. Um, I, oh, yeah, I was supposed to give you a taste of what I had written down in this finished journal entry here. I threw the raven-haired whore face down on the fur coat of Mrs. Beverly Snyder. I'll never buy pills from that slut again, I can assure you. I was fast at work, jamming my manhood into her perfect round little ass when she told me to do something I thought was strange, and that's saying something. To, uh... read the entirety of what I wrote, you'll have to win my challenge or someone else's challenge in the future. Oh, that reminds me what the thing I wanted to tell you all. Do not enter this competition if you are uncomfortable with giving me your address. Because that's kind of an important part of the contest, is that I have to mail this to you. Do not enter this contest if you have no intention of sending it to somebody else. 
You have to send it to somebody else, and if you don't, I know where you live. I'll come take it back. And... All costs associated with delivering the book to the next person, and whatever prize you may wish to add to it, is all on you. I'll get the first one, and I'll get... I'll pay to send the second book out to and all that shit. But as far as this first launch is concerned, out of my pocket, then the rest is on you. Alright? It's an ambitious undertaking, really. It's an ambitious experiment. But I think it'd be something neat to try and do. So, I'm sure you're all just dying to find out what the psychopath has written down in the journal. <laughs>